this is kind of a, a star shape that it, I can use for a vortex. I'm assuming you know what a vortex is, but to make this vortex that I've got pictured in my mind, I'm going to do Control T and size it down by clicking and dragging on the corner and holding Alt and Shift and size it down so that these points kind of match up with the layer below it. You see that? And check mark. And then just duplicate this layer by hitting Control J. Control T to transform. And I'm just going to keep repeating this as I so choose until I get it into something that I think looks like a vortex kind of shape. And I think that's going to do right there because I'm not going to be able to see much further down into the vortex. But vortexes should probably come out a little bit so that's it looks like you're actually inside the vortex. So I'm going to go to the first layer and duplicate it and set the transfer mode to screen. And then I'm going to go to this layer right here, set that to screen, and just drag this layer below, control T, and I'm going to zoom out using my scroll wheel. If you want to zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on your mouse, you're going to have to go to edit, preferences, oops, I need to stop that so I can go to my preferences. Anyway, edit, preferences, general. And if you check mark zoom a scroll wheel, you'll be able to zoom using the scroll wheel on your mouse. As I was saying before, I'm going to transform my star and size it up. Check mark it. Duplicate it. Bring that to the bottom. Duplicate it. Or sorry, not duplicate it. Transform it. My bad, guys. Size it up. Check mark it. Duplicate it again. Bring it to the bottom because I want to keep the the shape going from biggest to smallest if that makes sense it, each time I've been duplicating this and making it bigger I've been dragging it down to the bottom and each time I've been making it smaller I would just let it pile on top of each other so I hope that makes sense to you all because it makes sense to me and I'm going to check mark it and if you hit control and the number zero it should zoom in so that it fits the canvas inside your your palette here. And that looks pretty insane already. I mean, just just look at that. I mean, my eyes are wigging out. It's so amazing. And I didn't even put much effort into it. I mean, of course, I put more effort than other people would, but either way, it was easy. But if I wanted to make this more interesting, like kind of make it look like it's spiraling to the center, then I'm going to choose this top layer and hold shift and go to this layer right here, zoom out, control T. And if I turn it ever so slightly, you'll see that all of these layers are turning and I'll just check mark it and then shift click this layer so that only these are selected and just do the same thing I did before by rotating it. As you can tell, this is just a lot of repetition. I mean, that's that's just what you do with things like this, repetition, repetition. But in the end, it makes it look pretty sweet. I'm almost done. and done there so now this looks like it's kind of sucking in to the middle of my vortex and with that i'm done making my insane desktop background so there you go guys make sure you make this your desktop background so that way when your hot sexy girlfriend comes over and you're you're making out on your bed and you accidentally bump your mouse and reveal what's on your desktop, this amazing thing, your girlfriend will be like, <gasps> and then she'll be even more into you, and then you'll just be making out even more player. By the way, make sure you let me know how that goes, because um, I'm pretty lonely over here, and I get no action. I mean, 
I'm literally talking to a computer screen right now. So, yeah, leave some comments. See ya.